today. Hello, everybody. Hello, and welcome to the Daily Antidote of Song. We are having a beautiful day here in the Daily Antidote. I am here coming out of Alley World and Tonal Park and Tacoma Radio, WOWD. It's my, uh, my streaming location today. I am here with Mercy, Chinobe's little girl, and with Faith, and with the famous, fabulous, wonderful Issei Barnwell, who was just on Tacoma Radio for a beautiful show. And we are gonna have a couple of songs today, one with Mia, and we're gonna sing a little bit of This Little Light of Mine with Issei later. And we are so excited to be here. Faith, can you say hello and welcome everybody to the Daily Antidote of Song? Hello, everybody. <laughs> welcome, Mercy, can you say hi, everybody? Hi, everybody. Maybe not. Mercy says hello quietly and internally. There we go. Thank you, Mercy. So welcome everybody to the Daily Antidote of Song. I want to also welcome everybody else who joined us out there on Facebook Live. Thanks for being with us. And uh, we are in the middle of our Next Generations Week and uh, fabulous week that we are co-hosting with some alternative roots and Anna Alter, who is the, uh, the force behind that amazing website. We are so glad to have everybody here with us today. Hello to Mia, who's going to be singing with us in a little bit. And hello, of course, to Anna. And uh, Anna and I are running the tech today, actually with a little help from Mia, so be patient with the three of us. Hello, Mabel and Mass, great to see you today. Hello, Deli in Maryland. Hello to Trish, glad to have you with us today. And Deborah in Kentucky, and Al strumming away on his guitar. Sheila in Florida, hello. Hello to Arlene in California, and Kate in Charlottesville. Hello to Karen and Sarah. So Karen's coming in from Oregon, Sarah's coming in from Texas, Kathleen from Albuquerque, Anne in, Ma in Maryland, Luda in Victoria, Dion in Massachusetts, Lisa in Indiana. Hello to Kay Wallingford, glad to see you. And Kay Wallingford's left hand or right hand. Hello, nice to see both of you today. Hello to Carolyn in Idaho with an awesome looking puppet-like object. Hello to Jamie <laughs> in Vancouver, Victoria, BC. I don't remember. Bonnie, nice to see you coming in from Idaho and Becky coming in from Vancouver and Jane in Maryland and Lynn in Connecticut. And Mercy or Faith, do either one of you see anybody you want to say hi to? Mm -hmm. Do you see anybody you know? Mm -hmm. Or anybody I forgot? Mm -hmm. Let's see, I see Lynn. I didn't say hi to Lynn in Connecticut and Caroline in DC. I'm um, coming in with a Maisie. Do you know Maisie? Maisie, the little mouse? And mm -hmm. she has a Maisie yeah. mouse. Mm -hmm. And Fred in the DC Labor Corps. Hello, Carol Hello, in Connecticut. Hello. Hello to Annette in California, hey. Gary in Mass. It's a Rosie. Hello to Dan in Virginia and Barb in Virginia and Kathy in upstate New York. Hi, Betsy, coming in from uh, Washington Rebels. Hello to, oh, Rosie is actually Nicola. That's what you were saying, Rosie, about. Rosie is coming in. Rosie's coming in. Nicola is coming in from the UK. We're really glad to have you with us today. Hello, Nicola. Glad you're back. And Susan, who sang with us the other day, Susan McNellis from the DC Labor Chorus and also uh, sang with us during our Labor Heritage Week. I also want to say hi to all the folks off video or Tom, actually, who just appeared on video. And uh, so folks off video includes my mom in New Jersey. Hi, mommy. And uh, let's see, it looks like a uh, user. I'm not sure who that is. Karen, Joni, Kathy, and Hindi, and Amos, and Adrian, and Deborah, and Sarah, and still other folks popping in the room. Hello to all of you. And sorry if I missed anyone today. So glad you're here. Again, I'm coming in from Tacoma Radio, WOWD, and from Alley World, Charlie Pilzer's amazing studio with Mercy and uh, Faith Chinobe, and with Issei Barnwell. I am gonna turn the floor over to the fabulous Anna Alter. Anna, thank you so much for co-hosting today. And uh, you're up. I'm up. Hi, everybody. Uh, wow, it's Friday, I think. Hard to keep track sometimes. I'm so glad everybody's here. I was just thinking today that I, I feel like I've not spent enough time thanking Joe Rossi and Carpe Diem Arts yet, but they are, the coolest. I don't like I would never have been right here with all of you without them and without Joe, who I I have totally been swept off my feet by. You know, she's just the warmest, sweetest, most creative human ever. And I've never met her in real life, but I think everybody here feels that way. Probably. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and what a joy. We have Mia Bertelli here today. And if you're not familiar, I'll tell you the way that I found her as a human and creative person was when I first moved here to Maine, which was three years ago, maybe nine months in, I heard about something called Maine Fiddle Camp. 
which happens up the coast a couple hours from where I live near Portland. And um, it's just full of the most wonderful, incredibly talented musicians and singers and creative people that meet all summer. And when I decided I was going to go, I showed like the list of the people because I, I wasn't familiar with the main musicians and creators yet. I showed them to a dear friend of mine who was like, oh my gosh, Mia Bertelli is going to be there. And I was like, oh, I have to know who that is. And now I get to be the person that's like, oh, Mia Bertelli is going to be there. <laughs> um, bits about her life from what the, the little bits that I know that I'm excited to learn more about. Uh, she's originally from New Mexico, currently lives in Maine. She discovered Village Harmony in Vermont when she was about 15 and has since been performing in all different sorts of combinations, including with the Gawler Sisters and Palaver Strings and Bennett Knezny. And many of those people are also main fiddle camp people and has explored all different sorts of genres, solo ballads, work songs, pop, soul, jazz. And I saw Swedish cattle calling as another, I was like, what is that? I have to know. Um, and yeah, has been a regular main fiddle camp performer and has done all sorts of other things, farming and pottery and just being a human in the world. And I'm just so glad she's here. Welcome, Mia. Thank you so much. What a pleasure to be here with you all. So, shall I, uh, do you want me to take it away first with the song and then we chat afterwards? That would be wonderful. Great. Let me just type the lyrics here in the chat. So this is a recently composed song by my friend Cindy Callett. Um, and I think later we'll talk about what, what it means to me. Uh, but let's just start by uh, singing. Um, I'll give you the chorus first. It's very short. It goes like this. Bring down big bird, bring down mama love, find your way to me. Bring down big bird, bring down mama love, find your way to me. Let's try that together and then I'll launch in. Bring down big bird, bring down mama love. Find your way to me. So feeling good? All right. Here we go. I'm going to raise it a bit though. I'm flying away from the sun and the sun from me. And if I end up dark, Will you come to me? Bring down big bird, bring down mama love, find your way to me. I am running among the stars and the stars roam free. And if I end up lost, will you wait for me? Bring down big bird, bring down mama love, find your way to me. There's a tumble in the wind, drowned a dream of rain. And if I end up torn, can we mend again? Bring down big bird, bring down mama love. Find your way to me. There's a howling in the earth as we bleed from bone. Some 
day, my darlings, you will show us all back home. Bring down Big Bird, bring down Mama Love, find your way to me. I am flying away from the sun and the sun from me and if I end up gone will you come to me bring down big bird bring down Mama love, find your way to me. Mia, thank you so much. That was absolutely exquisite. And I hope you could hear how beautiful it sounded over here with Issei Barnwell and me and the two girls. There were lots of harmonies happening over here and uh, yes. you're directing them out to all of you. That is a beautiful, beautiful song. And I would love to ask you a little bit more about it. If you can tell us either sort of what it means to you or anything else you've got to say about it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this song was written for, by my friend, Cindy Callett, who's an amazing singer songwriter. She's written a whole bunch of uh, classics, uh, things that have become classics in, uh, in the community and, um, I, I first heard this song off of one of Cindy's records. It's on, I think it's on an album called Show the Way Home or This Way Home, something like that. Um, and I, the, the context of like this song, so I was cooking dinner the other night and I was like, what should I sing at the Daily Antidote of Song? Like, what can I offer people this, in this moment? Um, and I've, this song just popped into my head while I was chopping carrots, and uh, it is, to me, it's like, I've, I've had a year of like reevaluating a lot of the things that I sing and what they mean to me and why I sing them, and this song I find just brings, uh, it's something that I can really identify with, um, and Mama Love is like, more Mama Love makes the world a better place in every way. You know, if you feel loved, you can bring so much more to your communities and to the people you interact with. Um, and it's this generous quality that I really appreciate about the love of a mother. Um, and the questions really resonated with me too in it, like uh, about times in our lives when we, um, we go through big challenges and the sun is like this big source of energy and belonging and resource. And sometimes we feel like we're flying away from it. Um, what happens then? You know, what happens when our connection to our resources is shaken? What happens when our foundation is shaken? Um, you know, and it brings it back to me to people like, will, will you wait for me? Will you come to me? Because that's why I'm here. You know, I'm here to, to be in community and to love people and to be loved and, um, so this song for me has all the questions and and also the answers all wrapped up in one in a way. Um, so that's that's sort of how it speaks to me. That's such a beautiful explanation. Thank you. And uh, when we were singing it here, we were feeling a lot of mama love as Issei and I are both here uh, being sort of stand in mamas to these two beautiful tots. And it felt like the just right song to be singing along with uh, as you felt like the sort of mama vibe going through the universe. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We really enjoyed that. Um, so uh, I'm gonna turn it over to Anna uh, for a little more chatting and Anna, if you would turn it back to me so we can sing with Issei before we uh, go out of the room with Mia. And thank you so much, Mia, I'm really enjoying this. Thank you. Oh, I'm still existing in the space of that song and it was really beautiful to look at everybody's lovely face everybody looked so contemplative and like in the zone hope probably with you like in that same shared space even though 
we're in Zoom land. <laughs> um, and yeah, I've been, when I first started my website last year, which was my pandemic-y project to keep me busy and not go crazy, I was obsessively collecting. I, I want to find out what everybody's doing right now. What is, what, what are people creating or what, what plane are they existing on and how can I share all of those elements? And you were one of the people that I found on Instagram and I was like, Mia, what are you doing? Can I share things? <laughs> and you so eloquently were like, I'm, I'm existing and being, and I'll let you know when I have things. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so great. It was just the. It was such a a wonderful response, an unexpected one, because I was like, I want to shout everything from the rooftops. But it was um, very honest and also powerful. And I'd love to hear more about what the pandemic time period has been like. How how you've existed in that space? What it? How are you feeling? What are what are the things in your life? Yeah. Great, thank you. Um, happy to chat about that. I loved hearing from you back when you wrote to me because I think you contacted me because you had seen my video of Coal Harbor Bend, which is a fiddle tune that I sang on Baron's website. Uh, a friend of mine, Baron Collins Hill, who teaches mandolin, had written to me, and it was like my one project the whole of the pandemic. It's the one thing I put online. I had so much fun, but it was right in that period of the pandemic when it felt like a snow day, you know, when I was like, all right, I get to stay home and like um, was there. I moved in with some friends. We were playing a ton of cards and like planting stuff in the garden. And, you know, it just felt like playing hooky, It you know, um, because I live in a rural Maine and it was like, all right, I stay home. Cool. I'll stay home. That sounds fun. Um, really fortunate to have that be my situation. Um, and yeah, I, I made one video that I had a blast doing. Uh, and then really as the pandemic wore on, I started to just sort of um, it takes some time to like, just listen, like tune in, there was so much happening in the world. Um, and uh, a lot happening in my own life. And I, I spoke to a friend about it. Um, and I loved this term that they, um, they offered me about kind of cycles of creativity and they're like you know there's the cycle when you're like blooming you're you're out and you're producing and you're sharing everything you're making uh and then there's the like you're actively working on things that are gonna bloom but then there's also when the fields lie fallow and you let your you know you let the ground rest you plant a cover crop and um i think that's really what the pandemic has been for me cre creatively is like just taking some time to really um, clean out my closets, like actually physically and metaphorically, um, and make space for whatever creative things are coming next and just listen a lot. Um, definitely like everything changed uh, when George Floyd was murdered in the summer and I, I no longer wanted to, um, you know, I, I really started thinking, why am I performing? What am I bringing with my music to the world? And how can I make sure that it's in service of the things that I really believe in? And so that was also part of my, my um, taking a break from doing that. And also being online was just, it turns out that like what I love about making music is being with people. Um, and I think what you guys have created here is so beautiful because it really does, um, it does, it do, I feel, I feel like I'm with you and, um, it's, it's really lovely. Um, but I definitely, I took, I took the opportunity to be like, okay, I, I think I'll just tune out of the, um, the online things for a while. And, uh, I feel like I'm in a little cocoon, you know, like gestating, having all my ideas get mushy. And then, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe they'll, I'll explode into a beautiful butterfly in, in a month. Um, <laughs> and so we'll see. I feel it just now that spring is here, now that things are opening up, I feel my energy and things like popping out of the ground. So, um, maybe I'll start writing my own songs. That's really what I felt called to for a while. Um, but we'll see. I'm loving the way that you so beautifully illustrated your mind. <laughs> that was so cool. That was so beautiful. It just, I think that's 
a great way to to connect with people is making it more visual. There's audio and there's that visual space of like, wow, you you are a field. You are you are a garden. We I'm also Italian, hands. so you know we, we use our hands a lot. <laughs> Mia, thank you so much for sharing this space with us and sharing a bit of music and telling us about feelings and thoughts. It's just so welcome. Thanks for being part of this community. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me here today. What an honor. Thank you, Anna, and thank you, Mia. Uh, it's really just been such a great day today. So for the last 45 minutes before we open the doors, I was listening to Issei Barnwell live on Tacoma Radio, um, which is, by the way, available um, as a stream afterwards. You can just go to the WOWD Tacoma Radio website and actually hear the beautiful interview that we just sat in the room and witnessed. Um, lots of singing, and uh, we weren't allowed to harmonize during, so we were harmonizing internally. Um, but right now, actually, we can all harmonize right here with Issei Barnwell. Anybody who wants to try and come up with some harmonies to this little light of mine, bring it on. We're going to sing a few verses. Issei Barnwell, thank you so much for singing with us today. You're welcome. Thank you for the invite. Yeah. <laughs> you can start whenever you are ready. Me? Mm hmm This little light of mine, well, I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. Well, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine everywhere I go. Well, everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Whoa, everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. How about all around my friends? Well, all around my friends. I'm gonna let it shine, all around my friends. I'm gonna let it shine, all around my friends. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Last verse, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Right. <laughs> thank you so much, Isa Barnwell. That was totally fabulous. And thank you so much to both Mercy and to Faith who've been singing along with us. We had some really fun singing in the car on the way here. If I'm smart, I'll record it on the way home. Thank you so much, gang. So Anna, I'm going to turn it back over to you so you can say the magic words to Mia. Yay, that was beautiful. Mia your turn would you be willing to share a little bit more of that song maybe a verse in the chorus or a couple choruses something like that yeah sure <clears throat> let's do um yeah let's just do the first verse and a couple choruses mm, here we are no let's go let's ah, early I am flying away from the sun and the sun from me and if I end up dark will you come to me bring down big bird bring down mama love Find your way to me. Bring down Big Bird. Bring down Mama Love. Find your way to me. Thank you. You all sound so beautiful. <laughs> 
Thank you so much, Mia. That was absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Anna. Today was a totally beautiful and remarkable day. And I'm so glad we were all able to come here today and to sing together. Let's celebrate the next generations that have been bringing all of us oldsters in this room a whole lot of beautiful music this week. Right. It's so great to be able to get to meet and uh, see some new musicians who I know a lot of us are going to continue to follow now as, uh, as we move through time. Thank you so much. Let's all give it up for Anna Alter, our co-host for the day. Woo! Woo, woo, woo. And let's give it up for Mia Bertelli, our fabulous music for, musician for the day. Woo! And I want to thank Anna and myself and Mercy and Faith for all the help on the tech over here behind the scenes. We had many hands on the computer screens making things work. And thank you again to Ise Barnwell, who <laughs> came in here today and sang us a fabulous song in person. And uh, I'm so, so glad, everybody, that you all decided to come today. What a special day. And uh, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody out there on Facebook Live. Thank you for joining us. Please join us tomorrow. We are going to have Fabrizio Camarata coming in from Sicily to sing mm -hmm. with us. And uh, he has a beautiful, beautiful voice. And uh, I think everyone will really enjoy him if you haven't already met him. He has been in this room with us quite a number of times. And I definitely recommend going back into the archive and finding uh, two to Shendi Ala Stella, that he sang for us at Christmas was so ridiculously beautiful. So um, thank you again so much, everybody on Facebook. We'll see you all tomorrow.